the judge, as a judge, found with regard to every single count that we presented in trial, including the ones that were focused on seatbelts, that there was sufficient evidence for a rational juror to find proof beyond a reasonable doubt and convict. Now, the same judge sitting as a jury didn't find that the evidence was sufficient for him to convict, and that was his right to do that. But it's not a situation where there was no evidence. There was sufficient evidence for a rational juror to convict based on the judge's findings, but the judge sitting as a jury simply didn't credit all that evidence. And that's his right to do, and that's how our system works, that we believed in these cases and we were fighting very hard for these cases. And we would have been pleased to continue to fight very hard for these cases. But um, at some point, uh, Mrs. Mosby correctly determined that we had to face the reality of that defendants would select judge trials and that this judge would try the cases and that this judge made determinations and that he had seen uh, the significant portions of the evidence that he was going to see. And if this was his view, and I'm not questioning the propriety of his view, I disagree with his views, obviously, um, we think there should have been guilty verdicts, but he had every right to find the verdicts that he found, and he found them, and we have to accept that as the reality.